Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for September 28th, 2020. So I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Um, it was um, a wild and crazy one in the news department um, with a new Supreme Court appointment, um, uh, tax numbers out to, you know uh, the president's tax situation is in the news um a judge blocking the temporarily i should say temporarily blocking um the administration's order to uh, ban uh tiktok from being downloaded from u.s app stores we have a presidential debate upcoming we have um a huge week of economic uh, data coming our way. Oh my goodness, we have enough to give everyone heartburn this week. So how about we settle in? Let's grab ourselves something to drink and let's prepare for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, really with nothing in the particularly in the news that I can find to warrant such a big gap up we are surging huge this morning in futures so I guess it's only fair last Monday we punished anybody that held long positions over the weekend we punished those folks with a huge gap down this morning anyone holding short positions over the weekend are going to be punished this morning so I guess it's tit for tat um, we're going to just have opposing gaps here now let's take a look at what we've got here in those gaps and let's be really really careful to focus in on the technicals because it's easy to get very emotional on a morning like this and want to um, rush into the market thinking oh my gosh everything is wonderfully bullish again but let's take a look and, and remember what we've got going on here in the Dow first off let's take a look we still have a head and shoulders top pattern here that played out just as um, you would expect a head and shoulders pattern to play out if we also take a look here we are pushing back up this this candle right here is this morning's gap we're looking at pushing right back up into the price resistance where we've struggled before so we'll want to watch that pretty closely remember everyone we are still officially in a downtrend so we have the downtrend resistance as well as the resistance of that price action right there that could restrict us this morning so what could occur well we could easily see this big push in the mark market up this morning create a short squeeze meaning that anyone that held short will be forced to um, close those trades to protect any gains that they had or we could also experience uh, what we call a pop and drop pattern where we gap up we run into a defensive area where the bears have lined up to defend and we see that morning gap um, return with sellers that push it back down so both of those situations can certainly occur let's also keep in mind that we can add to that resistance all of our moving averages all of this area up in here besides our price action um, we're running up here to test our 50-day moving average as price resistance and we all know that as we test it from the underneath side we run that danger that we hit that and fail let's also keep in mind that if we take a look at our moving average here our 50-day that it started to flatten out and turn so could be a little bit of a critical spot right in here for us to have to push through let's watch that closely anything is possible hang on we got a week ahead that could be pretty darn turbulent let's take a look at the spy spy i'd love to say hey we're all in the clear here blue skies above everything is great but obviously that is not true we are remaining in a downtrend and we are pushing up to test the resistance of that downtrend 
trend pushing up to test the resistance in price action this morning in this morning gap up now we also in this chart we have to deal with that 50-day moving average and also that same appearance where we have that 50-day moving average starting to flatten out and possibly roll over so keep that in mind we're just pushing up we're gapping into price resistance one of the last things that we want to do and one of the things that's on my actual in my actual trade plan I do not buy stocks at or near price resistance so keep that in mind if our indexes are pushing up into price resistance we run that risk that we gap up everybody gets excited anyone that chases in has that potential of being sold into if we happen to catch that pop and drop so watch that very carefully if you have long positions that you put on last week um, into the weekend and held some of those this morning may be the perfect opportunity to take some profits with such a big gap up so just keep that in mind let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq has our best chance of really breaking through and as you can see, we um, this gap up this morning could certainly be the break of the downtrend that we have been in. We pushed up last Friday and broke back through this price resistance. Broke back through and now we're gapping a little bit higher. But let's not forget we still have a little bit of work here to do. And we still have lots of tech tensions as you saw over the weekend. The possibility of new U.S. sanctions against China. The, the whole thing with ByteDance and TikTok um, still creating some turbulence. And even though a judge temporarily blocked um, uh, the app ban... Uh, for downloads, the November 12th larger um, ban um, still is in play. In fact, the judge did nothing with that. So on November 12th, there could be that larger ban coming into play. So holy cow, um, anything is possible here on that tech side. So be really careful, be watchful of that. Now, one thing that might help us, I guess, in a, in a sense, is Amazon um, announced their... Um, their prime day um, that's coming up um, in October. Maybe that'll help Amazon push us up. Anything is possible in here. Boy, there's a lot to deal with um, in this market. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's also take a look at those moving averages here. Um, on Friday, we pushed up there to test that 50-day moving average as a resistance area. This morning, we're trying to gap up. Now, the question is, after the market opens, are those buyers going to be able to continue to push on through? Will there be follow-through buyers up here, or will we get that pop-and-drop type pattern as we deal with price resistance in the chart and see this big gap up be met by um, a group of sellers watch that carefully anything is possible here this morning let's take a look at IWM now IWM certainly has not been bullish um, at all as, as we can see in this chart let's go to this clean chart here as you can see we are in a downtrend and on Friday we pushed up um, toward this resistance this morning we're going to gap up into that price resistance and we're going to find out whether or not there's bears up here or not or if those bulls will have the energy to push on through let's not forget here in the iwm we've got a lot to deal with now we do have um uh, some good moves um, happening in the pre-market here on financial companies. So if the financial companies are going to come up, that could certainly help here in IWM. Let's keep in mind we have lower highs, lower lows in this chart. There's our downtrend and a double top high up here yet to deal with. So we're a long ways from being out of the woods here on IWM, but certainly something we should um, you know pay attention to. Now let's keep in mind that as we push back up, we're we're going to be running right into the 500 day moving average right in here with that 50 day moving average still significantly above and once again i want to point out that possibility that we may have that 50 starting to flatten and even roll over so watch that carefully be careful not to chase into price resistance let's take a look at the vix 
This has been um, an interesting situation here in the VIX where we sell off, it barely responds. Um, we get buying moves and it barely responds. Let's see if we get a good response here today. Now remember, we've been pushing around in here between a 50 and a 200 day moving average. That 200 day moving average has been serving as resistance as uh, we've been trying to sell off. The 50 day moving average has been serving as support as we try to rally. Let's see if this morning this big gap maybe we can challenge this and maybe break that down it would be nice to see the VIX actually responding it's kind of a weird situation to be honest so keep a close eye on that kind of a I'm just not exactly sure what's going on here in the VIX and why we're not getting um, uh, good price moves in it. It's it's weird. Um, at the same time, seeing the market moving up or trying to be so bullish, and we're still holding here at such high prints on um, the VIX is also odd. But uh, that's that's a sit the world we're in. Remember, if I throw some lines on here, we have a little price support, a little tiny bit of price support right here on this area. And if we can break down through there, then we can test down below that 50 day moving average, this price support that we uh, put in here in August, September timeframe, we'll wanna look at that closely as the next level of support in the VIX. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now, last Friday, we started to lift up. We finally got a little bit of a push up off the ocean floor here and uh, moving higher. Now this morning, we're gonna get this massive gap up. Unfortunately, when we do these all or nothing moves, and we had these before, remember we had that big move up here, um, that big surge back up that ultimately found more sellers and we continued kind of moving along a bit of a downtrend here in T2122. Now, keep in mind that this morning gap, this huge morning gap could push us all the way back up here um, into this bearish reversal zone just all at once. And we're pushing up up into those price resistance levels. So all or nothing on these big gaps uh, makes for a very uncertain day and a very dangerous day if you rush in and chase these big gapping moves. So be very, very careful here. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. And oh my goodness, do we have an economic calendar to deal with this week. Um, it is going to be pretty substantial, let alone all the political stuff that we've got uh, churning out there in the market. We've got a huge day on our calendar. A huge week on our calendar. First off, we really don't have much going on here today to move us around. And we do have some earnings that we'll want to pay attention to. We'll look at those in just a second. But not much going on on that economic calendar for today. But oh my goodness, we've got... Um, uh, goods trades, we've got um, consumer confidence in here, we've got the Case-Shiller housing prices, and then we hit on Wednesday the big stuff. We're gonna start hitting ADP. The GDP is expected to come in incredibly ugly. Um, keep an eye on that on Wednesday. PM, Chicago PMI, pending home sales, petroleum status. And then we start hitting the big jobs numbers uh, besides ADP. We're going to get those jobless claims. We're going to have personal income, um, the ISM number. And that's all going to culminate on Friday with this huge number, the employment situation number. Um, my goodness, um, a lot to deal with, let alone all the political drama and stuff going on out there the market has an awful lot to di digest so expect this wild volatility to be present all week we could be very very challenged um, as we move around with all of this data coming at us let's take a look at that earnings calendar on the earnings calendar we've got about oh, 19 or so companies reporting we do have a few uh, companies that we'll want to pay attention to here today somewhat notable um, reports. We've got Calm, um, Calm reporting um, earnings today. It looks like it's gapping up this morning. So far, a little pop and drop. We've gapped up this morning, pulling back. Um, this has obviously not been um, a beautiful 
uh, chart, but we did have a little bit of a double bottom, a little bit of a trading range. So if we can gap above that and hold, there may be some bullishness in here and hopefully a, a broken downtrend that could possibly set something up. So keep an eye on that. Um, SINA is reporting today. Looks like we're getting a big pop on that this morning. Now, part of that could certainly be the earnings report. Part of that could be this the, the wild bullishness this morning in the market pushing this up looks like we popped up big and pulled back so a lot of volatility in that be really careful the good news is breaking above a big level of resistance but still resistance above that um, obviously is still being respected so watch that carefully um, this morning THO THO is also on the list for reporting uh, been trying to work through a downtrend as you can see trying to break that downtrend trying to make a little higher low hold that as support watch this in here if that can move up keep in mind that price resistance in the chart may still be in play watch that carefully if that can pop through hold some support and start moving on up you UNFI is also on that list for this morning. I don't know if this is going to be terribly notable or really get that much of a move, but something to pay attention to. It is on the list today. And WB, WB will want to keep an eye on. Notice we have this downtrend in play. We're trying to hold some price support in here and this morning we're looking at a bit of a move back up nothing in here that would be um, tremendously interesting to me unless we could get past this bigger level of resistance and hold it as support let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me a favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post one of these videos and i just want to say thank you everyone thank you very much over the weekend we went over 15,000 subscribers you guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. And please make sure to feel free to share this video with anybody. Post it on your social media platform. Help us continue to grow. I truly, truly appreciate it. And if you found this video to be helpful, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment. It also helps us continue to grow. I do do appreciate it and you guys humble me every day let's take a look at the stocks that could be setting up and remember that every time I post one of these stocks or talk about one of these stocks it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security it is merely a uh, part of the education that I provide everyone has to do their own due diligence and decide whether these stocks fit your personal trading plan let's take a look at Costco I placed an alert on Costco last week and I've been kind of watching this little choppy area in here you can see we've kind of been bouncing around up and down through this resistance in this chart Friday we tried to push up an interesting little hammer pattern here on Friday notice we had one on Thursday as well that didn't follow through remember hammer patterns require a follow-through and the placement of that hammer pattern is very very important so if this is going to be the higher low in here and we're going to get some follow-through we'll want to watch that in Costco for that opportunity that we could actually hold this area up here start pushing on up. Costco has been a, a major beneficiary of the uh, coronavirus situation as people kind of stock up as they stay home. So watch that carefully. Costco may be um, ready to take a look at. Take a look at FDX, FedEx on Friday, popping through. There's was my alert popping up here. I didn't buy this and that's okay. I don't have to chase every trade in the market, but FedEx is still looking good and I mentioned this one several times last week continuing to set up watch this here on this gap up this morning if the bulls bulls actually follow through today could be a really good potential trade but also watch for that potential of that pullback if that does occur keep an eye on here we still have our trend all the way out here which means that we could still chop around a little bit as we move out to the trend so watch that close might want to keep an eye on ups 
U.S. as well. UPS had a good day on Friday moving up, now following through. Once again, after breaking through this big level of resistance, keep in mind this pullback um, could still, or consolidation could still come over to, to the trend. Um, one thing to remember on this is what, what's going on and really um, helping to inspire these is all of the online sales that everyone's gotten comfortable with um, under coronavirus. And um, right now we've got a big push by retail to get everybody shopping early for the holiday. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if they're successful at that, but we can expect um, the shippers to be doing um, quite a business here over the next uh, couple, three months. So watch that careful. Keep an eye on Walmart. Now Walmart has, you know, could benefit, may not benefit from this whole TikTok deal. We don't know. Um, they certainly have come out with their new member program. And this stock has been, um, struggling since it's had a big earnings report pulling back all of this uncertainty about its membership program and TikTok, and now we're bouncing around in here um, i would keep an eye on this and as you can see i've placed an alert i'm waiting to see if that can pop up now i already own this stock to be fair um so i may have a bias on this just to let you know and um I will be looking to add to this trade on a good signal in this chart, so watch that carefully. Another chart you might want to keep an eye on is McDonald's. McDonald's has been holding up quite well. Um, it really didn't participate much in the sell-off. Let's take a look here. This is a big breakout area here, uh, potential for McDonald's. So if McDonald's this morning on this gap up can push through and hold up above this area, then there may be that uh, um, opportunity to catch that next leg up so watch that carefully on McDonald's other places you can look um, John Deere whoops John Deere held up extremely well during this sell-off it's if it just ignored what was going on in the market John Deere holding on well, consolidating in here after this um, uh, break to new blue sky highs. So keep an eye on this as we continue this kind of choppy consolidation. We want to watch in here. It may already be starting that next leg up. Keep a close eye on that chart. So there's a few stocks for you to consider to think about for today. Um, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Be careful out there. Expect quite a little bit of volatility. Be careful not to trade with a fear of missing out as we push into these um, uh, market resistance levels. Everyone, have a great day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you the best.